looking like who that? They like where she bad. Like it, she bad. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Unicorn. You already know what's up with it. Ooh. And we are and we all know you by so many different names, right? Right. So we know you by Shaq. Everybody that I know call you Shaq. Yep, yep. You yep. know, and your artist name when they look for your music, what's that? J G G L O. Okay, G-L-O. Not Gigolo. That's what my mama be saying. Gigolo. <laughs> your mama be saying. Ain't you on that Gigolo page? It's J dot G L O mom. But mom. My, my, my real friends know me as Tato. Tay. Tay. Yeah. All the way. We'll Tay, all you the way. real friends. <laughs> Tay, all the way. Period. So listen, we got some interesting topics today. And unfortunately, we have to put you in the hot seat because you got more experience with mm-hmm. these subjects than we do. When you mean by experience, what do you mean by experience? By experience, I mean, so the topics we're going to go with today are dating outside of your race. Okay, okay. Co-parenting mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with white women versus with black women the okay. pros and cons of both we're not here to bash anybody mm-hmm. and then also sex outside of your race oh, I said just we want to know the pros just a, okay. no we want to know the pros and cons of both Okay. because we've never been there we haven't experienced it so enlighten us let's start with let's start with which one to start with sex mm-hmm. why we all I, I there about to ask, oh, oh, they didn't say you have sex Wait a minute. Well, I was just about to ask you, like, never dated outside of your race, first off. I have went on a date with a guy outside of my race. And you don't have any kids by a man outside of your race. And I don't have any kids by a man. And I haven't had sex with anybody outside of my race. Yeah, Yeah. same for me. I don't even, I haven't even dated a man outside of my race. For real, y'all? I only dated black men. So, yeah. I went on one date. Power to people, but for real, y'all lying, like. No, for real. Never seen a. a you did you know it's a fact that black women are the least likely to date outside of our race? I did not know that. As, yeah, as I didn't a fact. It, but yes, I a do know a lot of black people that have dated outside of the race. People but were men, were men or women. People like people. Men are, no women. black women. Though, okay, it's more black yeah, guys. The statistics. It's say more black, black guys date white women. Mm-hmm. Yes. I haven't seen a lot of black girls with a white boy because you know you get beat up. Who gonna get beat Nobody. up? The white boy? Nah, <laughs> he ain't gonna get beat up. Yeah, yeah, I gotta put that man alone. If he got I'm some money, playing. you gonna leave him alone. Because yeah, because he got security. If you see us with a white man, <laughs> <laughs> if you see us with a white man, he probably okay. got some money. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, so. You've never even thought about dating. Now this is before. Uh, now I this is be, I'm talking about high. Let's go hypothetically high school. I don't found white men attractive. Like I have talked to a white man on the phone. We have never went on a date or anything, right? I think I told this story on the pod, mm-hmm. and he sent me a dick pic, and I asked <laughs> not to, oh. and it turned me all the way <laughs> off because the color a ratio wasn't right. Like it was like it was red. <laughs> And this is straight up. Anybody that see this, y'all can call me out. Coming from a man that has never sent a dick pic. Mm-hmm. Is it common? To yes. Yeah. I don't like it. We don't like it. Like, I don't it's like common. it. It's common. It's common. It's like, so as soon as you be like, let me see your dick, they be like, ting. We don't want to say that. No, it's never So there. they just we voluntarily get show you some shit. I never. I don't have a box on a regular basis. Yes. Yeah. Wow, I'll be like, you don't get titties in your inbox for coochie? No, I go to the strip club. No, they don't send it in your inbox. I do not believe no, that. I don't, have, I don't have thirsty whores sending me titties at no. They know where I be. Why, why she gotta be a whore? Why she can't be comfortable in her body? Because any respectable black. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? For this? In some y'all ready? They don't even wear y'all ready? Or shirts. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because any respectable black queen ain't about to just pop some Go to Africa right now, and they got the titties no, out. No, 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 no. They ain't that bad. You ain't let me not finish. Not even think about they ain't y'all. They about to pop their titties out in we the DM. We sexualize titties in America. In the DM. We sexualize in titties the DM. in America. In the DM. In the DM. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Turn it look. So, no respectable black queen is going to just 
pop they titties in my DM. Nah, but I'm just saying no respectable black queen is gonna just have their titties just whoop in my DM. Like, hey, whenever you can't hit me up. Titties? For real? Let me see your face first. Let, let me meet you. Ain't, I don't get that, y'all. Let now, say, I will meet you in person and you like what you doing tonight. Oh shit, I ain't doing nothing when I ain't doing nothing. Then shit changes, especially at dollar bill parties. But dollar bill parties. Other than that, no, no respectable black woman is just showing me they ass and titty. No. What about now Snapchat? I just go down my timeline on Facebook and see it all the time. Good morning, just it's just there. What it's about Snapchat? Post. Snapchat's on But you said respectable. We weren't even talking about oh. I don't get like y'all get dick pics randomly unannounced. Yeah. I'm not getting titties in my inbox. Mm -hmm. Men don't get that. Give me some. You gotta titties get thirsty. Men, That's we got a couple men in here. We got a couple men in here. I will take the titties in the inbox. Men instead of the dick. Men pics. are in here. We Show will show me preach. some titties. I'm gonna start putting up titty Tuesdays on my Facebook page. Send me the titties. So you can send me some titties. <laughs> No, no. So again, I guess I have dated. To go back to the original question, not mm -hmm. the titties question, I have dated uh, outside my race, and I have two wonderful babies outside of my race. But I don't look at them no different. Like I just had to try it. Like got me messed up. There's some pink over there. That's over there. You know. You know. No, elaborate. Be clear. We don't know. All right. Well, at the time, I'm not going to elaborate on that. But how? How was dating say, her? How was dating your um, Caucasian baby mother? Okay. <laughs> compared to dating your African at that time, at that time, yes, it was awesome. Trips. We we went to like six, seven trips. We just took a whole damn tour to Europe. It felt like, but uh, it was awesome. You feel me? It was something different. And that was and different from dating a black woman. Yeah. Yes, and. Guys can't account for this. You can say certain things, you can do certain things, and it's like, as long as he comes home, no worries. Mm. Black women. They're more passive. Black women. My sisters. Mm-hmm. Speak up. Say it with your chest. Share your location indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs> Who you going with? Where they at? Let me talk to them. Put me on FaceTime right now. Why you can't face? Like, it's just a lot of shit. Not saying that it's wrong if you ain't got nothing to worry about, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You can be on FaceTime with your bully, you feel exactly. me? Exactly. ain't nothing to worry so about. You was trying to, so you was I'm getting away saying, with stuff no, with I'll, her. Sometimes, I can be out a little later, you know? Black women, nigga, the club closed at 2. You better be home by 2.15. Ain't nowhere in Dayton longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> Exactly. White women. Like actor gets you everywhere. They went to the casino, then I just went over here, then I'm over there. Are you safe? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Your feels in the room. Okay. <laughs> I'll wake you up when I get home. No worries. Have fun. Boop. That's it. Be 215, 216 with a black woman. Uh, you outside, huh? That's what we doing? We outside tonight? Oh my God. We had to stop for gas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, with the women, they had to TikTok real quick, babe. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not driving. I'm riding. <laughs> it's just a whole, you got to make up stories and it's just so much. So. But if you've been like, this person, you don't got to make up. I was about to say, so you can be real, so you could be honest to a white woman. And at, that, at that time, of after a while though, like, black women aren't clingy. Mm. Black women want yeah, the time. Yeah, let's talk about the car. Hold on, one dude. Mm -hmm. Y'all be like, hey, nigga, you ain't got no friends. <laughs> Black, ah, okay. Black women will kick you out. Like, <laughs> uh, you need a job. Uh, you got to stop playing this game. <laughs> go do something. Mm -hmm. White women like, you can stay home. I'll, be, I'll go get the money. Hi, you been here all day? No worries. You hungry? Like, I ain't eat this shit. <laughs> Hey, go ahead. Like, yeah, well, with black women, you're not about to just let be clingy and all on my side, and I'm not gonna let you go. I'm right here every step, every move. No, black women, they be like, hey, nigga, no, I'm about to go out with the girl, nigga. I buy. White women, if you want me to stay, I'll stay. Like, yeah. So would you say? So would you say 
Is that it's like kind of in comparison to like having a pet. I think Whoa. white women treat y'all like pets. Hold on, can I speak? Cause I let you speak. Okay. I think okay. white women treat y'all like pets. I think that they love to have babies with y'all because they come out so beautiful Pretty. to the world. Oh what what media says. Take me out, Kelly. Somebody in the cold shots out. This is what, what media says is beautiful and what's pretty and you know what I'm saying, all of those features. So like they like that part of it and they keep they want y'all sitting around their feet like a lap dog. They don't mind if y'all don't leave the house and go do nothing for yourself. Just be a good puppy and sit here. I got me a little black little baby. man in the house. He trying me too. Black he won't man. bite you or nothing. He ain't even gonna bite we you. We gonna sit right next to yeah. him and be quiet. We ain't gonna <laughs> First of all, first of all, if you find a young African American man mm -hmm. <laughs> such as myself in a position of comfort mm -hmm. and unbotheredness, mm -hmm. he ain't bothered. He just relaxing right now. And at that time, I didn't really want to deal with the West Side. I didn't want to deal with my niggas. I didn't want. I was coming home dealing with a lot of family personal issues. So to me, it was like a safe space. When she came and she's in Kettering. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody I know coming to Kettering. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody. Ain't <laughs> I know no that's car, why. No <laughs> but where you at, Kettering? Shit, call me when you get on the side. Let me know when you make it that way. Okay, I'm no, So it's like, ooh, I know it. They ain't just gonna pull, out, pull up. Hey, mom outside. Ain't none of that. Not out here. Mm -hmm. So it was more of like, I'm getting away. It's peaceful. And then we traveling. Okay, you, you've been married for 10 years. You ain't never had no kids. 10 years? And you ain't never had no kids? That's a red flag to me. See, a red flag like hell. You if you've been married for 10 years and you never had a baby. What's the red flag? The red flag is well, it, it could be on he, both sides. It could I'm be he not that he thought that she wasn't mother he material. He might okay, think she's not flag? mother material or, you know what I'm saying, she might not really want kids. Yeah. She was just fucking with the wrong. Can I say that? She wasn't a nigga. In, in my political, it was a can white I say man, that right? on Bell podcast? She was fucking with the wrong nigga. I told her in six months. Give me six months. And you gave her a baby. <laughs> Shout out to Tavion Kelly. <laughs> Shout out to them beautiful babies. Them is my babies. Shout out so, to them. So, again, once that happened, now it's like, okay, it's real. You see that you can get pregnant. We about to start a family. And yes, we got the, oh, <clears throat> I got a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of friends that was like, Bro, you tripping. You came back from Texas and wow. I mean, <laughs> do you know she white? Only <laughs> for <laughs> white girl. Oh, shit. They did. Damn, girl. So, and it was at that time it was like, you know, shouts out to my deceased baby mom, but coming from that, I didn't want to deal with African American women at all. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So I was like, I'm done with these black heifers. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go back and some white home. And I went to UD, and I went to White State, and I went to Oregon District. You went all the places you needed to go. I didn't find them. Did you want I didn't find them, mm -hmm. but they were there. Mm -hmm. Then one of my homies was like, "Bro, she gonna drive us to the casino." And I'm like, "Bad." I said, "Oh." And there from there, I looked up. It was like that red moon shit. Y'all know that red moon shit? Uh huh. With the room? Yeah. I thought it was the red moon. She was like, "No, it's just the sun blocking the moon, and it's called she she." <laughs> <laughs> She shot your spirit higher learning. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, okay. But she she tapped into some other shit and I was like, you know what? I like this. Like I like the feeling that I'm feeling right now, so I'm gonna keep going with it. And it just so happened that a clingy woman lasted for two kids. Shouts out to my baby mom. Shout but out to baby mama. I love her by the way. Damn, we ain't even near yet. Yes, That's we, we are. still dating right now. No, we have sex. It. We're talking about the different Jesus sexes. Christ. Now. So how was sex? Different or similar? Similar. Between the two. Maybe. I don't know. So, like, you talking about. Like, so, how was sex with a black woman, a black woman versus with a black, I mean, a white woman? Oh. Uh, when it comes to just like. Anything. All the, all of the experience itself. Everything right, wow. as a whole. Everything and then as a break it down in detail. Yeah, I mean, like, okay. I put it like this. Which one do you might think better 
as an experience, as the overall experience, after as an overall experience. Okay. From then to right now, present. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm still do my black women. All okay. The way. Only because though, like experimenting. I'm about to just say it. Just okay. say it. Yes, please do. This is okay. the show for you. Because on Unicorn Talk, you can talk about whatever. Black women want you to read their minds when it comes to the bedroom, do some freaky shit, and then they got your back because they was down anyway. They just didn't want to say nothing. White women are like, do it. Yeah. If I have to announce, <laughs> some people like talking. You're going to announce, hey, do this, uh, do this, uh, grab it. Uh. Somebody said Kelly had you in your feelings. They was there. I was in my feelings, yeah. He was there. <laughs> I'm about to block you. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's like, if I did it with a black girl, she like, oh, yeah, that's good. But I ain't announce it. I just did it like, ooh, she, it's a possibility she can horse kick the fuck out of me right now <laughs> if I put my thumb there. Yeah, right. I'm like, oh shit. Relax. Oh, what you doing? Black women. Why are you like, relax? Oh, what? Oh, is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Total difference. So, you have to be alarmed with a black woman. Why would no, you just be like, hey. You gotta walk on your tiptoes. <laughs> Sure. Anyway, yeah, other than that, um, you still going with the black? Yeah, <laughs> you said sex though. You ain't say nothing yeah, else. Nah, sex. Yeah, sex, 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 sex. You just said the sex, overall sex. experience. Yeah, like overall. So you say they're more like expressive black. vocally, yeah, so that it makes you though. feel more comfortable to do more freaky shit because they let you know. You that can just cool. let go and ain't gotta worry about. Yeah. Hey, what you doing? What do I do? I ain't never said you, that by you the way. Be funny And be like, uh oh, uh, wait Just a minute. Just don't get it in my hair. I be so mad when hair. it gets in my hair. She don't like, care. That get on my hair. hair. She don't care. Yeah, but she no. don't care. She don't care. Don't care. She don't care. Don't care. She don't care. I got it. But that's what I always do. I don't care. I mean, after it happened, you can't do nothing. But I'm just saying, if you can prevent that, please help me <laughs> and prevent <laughs> that. No. Like, I'm just saying. You see, you uh, still have a worry. Yeah. It's out the window with the. Mm, I don't want to be walking around think I got it out or thinking it's some gel and it's a blue. <laughs> okay. Nah, for my. Nah, for my. I mean, I'm going to wash it. But what if I miss At least it? At you got to wash the wash the little head. I'm just saying, what if I am talking about my real hair, nigga? I told you I don't fuck with no wig, though. Other than that, that was just sex. Like dating? Like white girls believe. Like, whatever you say, fellas, whatever you say, white or black, whatever you say, a white girl. Thank believe, you, Daryl, because you I don't know what black girls he been messing with, but black he likes girls to. Don't care. Listen, that's my Damn, best friend, see? y'all. There you Let go. Let me tell y'all something about my best friend, right? See, they, they stop on the floor. My best friend like, like the one black girls that don't nobody know. They stay in the house all day. <laughs> they, they, they really was like, nobody. My melanin cool. on the inside, that's why they I They really like was like, like no, for real. that you have dated they were all like those girls that was in school sitting over in the corner like this not saying anything nobody not socializing I not. like braces and glasses God no damn. I'm not saying that that's like a it. problem but what I'm saying is, is that that's why you having no sexual experiences because you go out and you seek out these very timid unexperienced nobody so knows them as the black girls you want me to go straight to the ratchet but, but you are problem. but you 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 you, you, you are judging all black women when you only date a certain kind of type. So you saying? And you can't date that certain so type kind across the board, meaning in different colors and cultures. So are and you saying you're going to get the same response? Are you? I'm not saying all women are the same, but are you saying that I need to go and date some more motherfuckers to realize? You need to get you. <laughs> You have okay, to how about this? 
the women that y'all are referring to and indirectly deferring to, they either wiped up, taken already, or single as fuck because they about their money. How about that one? Yeah, and also you can't do all those things you do with that white woman with them. Yeah. So that's why you don't have one of those, and that's why you're having those different sexual experiences. I'm still leaning back to a white you woman. You want to do what the fuck you want to do? You best friend. I know you. You a free spirit. I do. So you like to do kind of what you want. You like to do spontaneous. Somebody can call you, and you want to be able to get up and go. You don't have to answer no fucking bite. I'm I don't. the same way. I understand what you. I understand that. About right. You. Exactly. So I'm not tripping on that. I'm just saying though, like that takes you gonna have to deal with a certain type of woman. So when you get in that bedroom, you gonna have to be willing to teach that kind of woman what the fuck it is that you like, and right. to teach her to be more vo vocal. Because if she's not vocal in her normal ass life, she's not gonna be fucking vocal just by default in the bedroom. You gotta make her comfortable to be be vocal. So when I'm pulling up, what's up, bro? Got bro, bro on. His you got a question? Yeah. What's up, bro? Oh, okay. Even with the complaint that he had, he still said that he preferred black women. No. I'm <laughs> he ain't got him a cool bitch, a boss bitch yet, so he can't, he can't, so he, he, can't be around. he don't like them though, he don't have yeah. opportunities, he don't like them, so y'all really, and that's okay, <laughs> you can't just judge it out for what you like, so y'all really, uh, 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 No. no. Anyway, we got a special guest I in the building help. today. I, Shout out to you. Come on, come I on. I ain't calling, but he here. Introduce yourself. I ain't calling, but he introduce here. Introduce yourself to the people. I ain't people. calling, but he here. Come on now. Yeah. It's your boy Peanut from the Legendary People Podcast, Dash Resource LLC. Your business, my business is lit for y'all. You heard me? They don't want nothing with us. And what, the, what should they sell? <laughs> They should sell stocks not what? Sell stocks not dope every Sunday, 8 o'clock p.m. on my Dash Resource LLC challenge. You heard on YouTube, man. Yeah. <laughs> don't think y'all got off the hook either, because oh, we're still going to talk about this. Just because I like nerds don't mean that I have a nerd right and now. And just because they don't nerds mean, don't mean they not freaky. Don't mean that they ain't freaky or bossy. You feel me? Like, bossy and all nerdy, my boss you guys, if you really like somebody, y'all done started from the mud, y'all coming up. You're gonna boss her up. You're gonna show her everything it no, takes you're too to be you're trying her. To show somebody some shit. Her, I'm not showing them. I'm just guy. Just over. like parents. See, you know, like how they grow. Parents just guide their kids like, in the right direction. What's the point of contention, though? Like they saying that. To get what's back. the point of contention? Like, what is the beef right now? Like, what are you? I'm about to come and introduce the, the beef right people. now. Is they saying that I ain't never dated a chick that could is a boss already. Uh, I always go with these nerdy girls. And white so, girls. So let's talk to me about it. First of all, first of all, we were on the subject of the difference between black women and white women's okay. sex. What he preferred. He said that he preferred black, black women's sex. As of now, he preferred black That's women's brother. sex. That's my brother. That's my brother. But yeah. he could tell you the benefits. And the benefits from it was that white women mm -hmm. basically let you do whatever without saying anything and a black woman applause. Like, like what you before you do I disagree to start. I like like That's I disagree to start, saying. right? So so when it comes to sex, right, it's all about comfortability, right? So like you can be with anybody. Like you have a black female that you are dealing with who won't feel comfortable doing sexual acts with you yet. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So you have a white woman who is out the gate. <laughs> out the gate. Uh, will do certain things that you will look at, but also realize that if you treat her a certain way, other things open up as well. So it's the same thing of you just treating it naturally and letting things progress naturally. I was also stating the fact that white women, when it comes to, you know, 11, 12-ish, you hit them up. Babe, I'm on, I'm on, I'll be there in a minute. Wait, I need to clarify. 11, 12 is 11, 12 be is
okay, I see you when you get home. Fashionless. Black women, nigga, share your location. Uh, who is he? I thought you didn't like him no more. Why you over there anyway? You know you gotta be over here. Well, such and such is calling. Well, I'ma see you in a minute, right? They, it's so many more. It ain't just a, so, hey, I'm safe, so, bye. So it's, I wanna be I that person. Check in. I wanna be I that person. Tab in. I wanna be that person, but I, I really have to be that person. To be that person. That too. Like, so. I ain't never met one. Be like, that person. To understand. Why you gonna do that right there? To understand, like. And by the way, hold on, by the way, for those who don't know, this is Peanut, y'all. <laughs> Peanut. Peanut from the Legendary People Podcast, Dash Resource, LLC. Yo, yeah. business is my business. Y'all already know the vibes, man. I'm already monetized. It's regular. So, so when you got to look at, like, black women, you got to understand what they got to deal with. Like, it's a difference between a white woman who chooses you. Like, think of white women as basketball, right? Such as white women will be the all-star game, right? Such as they get a chance to just have fun. It don't mean nothing, right? You can go out there, you can lose the game. It don't mean shit, right? Not to the white woman. Right, right. <laughs> but when it comes to black women, it is the NBA season, right? It is every game means something. Otherwise, it don't mean shit, right? All right, right we, we here. We rocking. So, we're fucking winners. So, <laughs> we're fucking winners. So, we're so, winners. So you can be with a white woman, right? And a white woman will literally just be something you having fun with. And you have like, I mean, of course, yes, you could like though all those anomalies where you can meet a white woman, marry them, and have a great life. Exactly. Salute to you, black white boy, right? But right, what I'm telling you, black white boy. Right. <laughs> but 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 to understand black women is you gotta like literally put their shoes on a little bit, not in the homos. Uh, I'm saying like but put yeah, the shoes but. on. Understand like black women have so much to have to deal with when it comes to a black man that a white woman does not have to worry about. Mm-hmm. So when you say that, really you disrespect him like when you say it. And I said I still choose our black. But listen, women. this is the thing. We I'm this is now it's my turn beginning. because hold on, it's my damn turn. Why, 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 Okay, the way you saying it, I think it's not what you're saying. It's the way you're saying it because you're generalizing. So it's you're making it seem as though because you had this one experience or these few experiences with this white woman, right? And then you had these experiences with black women. You many, many, hold on, many, many, (laughs) but all of them have some. Hold on, but all them, all them black women that you deal with have something in common. Mm -hmm. What is that? They're all nobodies. They're all very timid. They're all very unexperienced at life. I need to no, be someone that's I don't. I'm telling him their level. Look, I'm telling him that the love, their level of it, their lack of experience at life is what causes the disconnect in the bedroom. But that's the woman that he likes, so you gotta work with her. If you're gonna pick somebody who don't have the life experience, and you can't just get mad that she don't get in there and be MVP, like she gotta, you, she gotta be taught. So either you willing to teach her that, that's not the woman that's telling you, what you doing? She's not doing none of that. She shut the fuck up and she let you do what you want. I'm saying though. But you let When women know they got a trophy, when women know they got a trophy, oh boy, where you at? Where you going? So you Uh a trophy? Oh no. Am I? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I'm asking. Catch. What? I'm asking. There's a sea of plenty of them. Plenty. Yes. Trophy. I'm a Listen, grand. I'm a trophy too. I understand what you're saying. Hold on, what's that but thing in tennis? All that. When you get all fuck up, all you got a grand slam. Oh my God! Fuck you gotta that win shit. that one and that one and that fuck one. All that you shit. get all if of them. If you had your goddamn turn, nigga, pipe down. All right, one mic. Period. You <laughs> said all right. <laughs> all I need is one mic. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that you, you went and got it. you a very, a privileged white girl. Okay. Okay. Nothing wrong with that, but very privileged. Parents gonna drop down, whatever, gonna do it. No struggle in sight. Okay? You went. You went. We can do that on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Privileged 
privileged white girl and she had some life experience. Like you said, she had been married for 10 motherfucking years, right. okay? Right. She didn't have no kids, but she had been married for 10 years. She had degrees. She worked it. You know what I'm saying? She right. was a very experienced white woman. White. So, of course, that's going to translate over into the bedroom. You are not messing with black women who are privileged in no way, shape, or form, who have no degrees, who have no life experience, who have no marriages or real relationships in their past. I know. I know. So, but you know them, you but like, those are not the girls that you're choosing. Yeah, that you're choosing. So you I cannot sit there and compare that, 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 that You compare it now. now. You now. compare it to the orange. He said he can't. He can't. He can't. At that he can't time. With that. Well, I'm talking about. Lair 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 at that time, I wasn't dealing with the. They weren't dealing with you. Let's be correct. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let's be correct. Let's be correct. Let's be correct. They weren't dealing with you. Only a couple. you're referring to right now yeah. she told me what the fuck are you doing out here right get your ass back to the city but you did a woman of you the was mad. Oh, oh, please, please. You. please let him finish please let him finish please Damn. let him finish please 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 they told me let him finish what are you doing out here get your ass back home come on now you're the only out here this is, I know you depressed I know you sad but not this and I was like, I'm so done with the hood. Oh, I'm so done with the hood. I'm so done with black women. I'm so done with rewind that all that shit. Like, that I'm cool out here. She was like, you sure? And when I said that, everyone that really loves me and they ask me, am I sure? And I say, yes, I still got your back, but bro, this right here, I'm not coming out here no more. You know that, right? And I, I understood that. But like I said earlier, it was a place where I can be like, yo, my niggas ain't about to pop up. Mm-hmm. Hold on, but this is what I'm saying. So, so I live, I live on the outskirts too, for some of the same reasons you live on the outskirts, right? Yep. But I still date within my race. You, you get right. what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, and but, when I want to be black, I go to the black side. So I'm really deep. not understanding Have that Have you ever so had much. someone on dating inside of your race? Watch this magic trick. Take magic. yourselves away from this earth. Watch this magic trick next. So my what? Yes. What? 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 what, 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 yes. what yes. Yes. Okay, yes. so, yes, so yes. when you felt yes. that way, when you thought about, okay, they're gone. I done dated this person, they're gone. Did you really say, I'm about to go back out here and date the same type of person? Or did you say, I need something different because I tried that different. tragic trauma happened. I, I so tried I different, but it was well within my it was right. The right. So, well, me, I jumped. I'm, like, <laughs> hey, 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 I'm hey, done with hey, y'all black hey, women. Hey, Because it's a podcast and it's a personal matter. Yeah, Just nah, it was right. a trauma experience that happened. So I, I gave no. up on black, black women. So I would ask one question. Trauma that happened. I would ask the question for no. Just be like, bro, oh. Watch it, watch it, watch it. I would ask nobody that's on this stage right now. Who engages in Taco Tuesdays? You? <laughs> I like Taco you? you? I like Taco You? You? Everyone like Taco Tuesday, right? Mm-hmm. Taco Tuesdays is a Mexican tradition. That you just like as the flavor of that day. It's a thing that you adapt. personally like and you adapt to it and you love it, right? Yep. Now I'm gonna ask the panel that we're watching. Anybody out here engaged in Taco Tuesday? Yeah. A pair, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Occasionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Your sexual taste is out. It's actually a palate, right? So you can literally like certain things that present themselves from an ethnic group, period, period. Mm-hmm. Then when it comes to food, when it comes to taste, when it comes to culture, mm-hmm. why is sex excluded? Wow. Oh, it got real quiet. That, this is my right thing, now. this is my thing. No, no, when I look That's at black true, men, when I look at black men, I am enticed at the ones that I like, right? Mm-hmm. I don't look at white men or any men any other race like that. You know I might like see them. I'm not saying I don't like ice cream, nigga. White but man. I, I white 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 man. But listen, <laughs> but no, that's what I'm saying. I only prefer one flavor of ice cream. Which is what? I don't chocolate. like all of them, no. Nigga, I like Rocky Road. But I white as fuck. That's the whitest one you can ever name. That's the fucking whitest one you can ever name. That's the whitest one you can ever name. Nigga, 
Okay. That's what I'm saying. And I'm so saying. So I don't date outside of my race. I'm not saying that I, I, I see white yeah, black. Well, I come to the conclusion that we fucking should. I come to the conclusion that just like he was going to the Oregon Auto Place to look for him, white girl. When I did, when I did explore, I, did. Say, I gave up. I, I gave had up. two wonderful kids That's out of it. You still want them to share the energy of sex? I don't really regret what I did. No, don't regret them babies. Don't, don't regret. Really. Don't regret nothing. No, really meaning like y'all probably thinking like, damn. No, they not say your race really is not like a, 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 a bad thing. I, really yeah, I don't want it to like be that. like it's a bad I thing to date or have sex outside your race. We asked to be compared. We asked him to compare and give us the pros and cons, and it turned I want to do that. Well, white girls let you do this, and white girls don't let you do nothing. I, I That's what it turned into. I want the opportunity for okay. you to ask me the questions. Okay, let me ask you the questions. Y'all is killing me. We got to do co-parenting. I've been talking all over each other. It's killing me. That's why I'm crying. So I want to co-parent them together and let them ask me the questions they already asked you previously. I'm sorry that I'm late. do that together. I promise you. I literally did four podcasts today. It doesn't matter. We got to keep doing more. We got to keep doing more. NFL champion on my podcast later. I mean, earlier today, which is the Legendary People podcast. Look that up right now. So ask me the previous questions that you asked him so we can get to the same part where we're at. Mm -hmm. We can all move together. Congrats. To that. Yeah, that one. I'm not the producer yeah. of this thing. No, we didn't. You ain't the director. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to tell him where we at. So, so, so that way, it's one person talking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, have you had sex outside of your race? Absolutely. Okay. So, what are some of the pros and cons Ooh. of specifically white women versus black women? Who better? So, I'm going to say that. Um, Who's better? You had your turn. They so actually. when it comes to sex with black and white women, I would think it really comes down to the taste. Really, it's like not really taste as in like licking. No, I'm right. I'm not. 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 i am and it's the same thing when it comes to women, right? Because you will may like, like, they're not inclusive just white What did you like about the white woman you was with? Or what Man, you not she like? was, all right, all right, let me get my shit off. Tell your yeah. shit, get tell your shit. Tell your shit. Tell your shit. What was good and what was bad about her? She wasn't argumentative. Say, <laughs> say that. Say that. I can do what I want to do. The camera, let's get it. Oh, that one. Yeah. All right, no, no. I'm being silly, I'm being silly, I'm being silly, right? <laughs> Um, it was the point where I was at. I think everybody is indicative of like every relationship that you choose in your life is indicative of where you are in your life. Mm -hmm. Such as you wouldn't pick a person at this point in your life because that's who you want. And then when you graduate, you know, financially or spiritually or whatever the fuck you want to say, eventually that person will either grow with you or grow away from you. I think that's true in every relationship, right? Mm -hmm. That's not right. Stuff, like that's not black or white. That's right? but, universal. But when it came to that white person, at the time that I chose that person, it was literally where I was at that point. That person right. held me down at the point where a, a woman who I was dating at that time was black that did not help hold me down during that time. So a person who would li literally accept me at nothing, mm -hmm. ground zero, mm -hmm. was a white person during that time. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to the so, so I understand why <laughs> men would deal with a white woman during that time. Because they enablers. Not, oh my God! Uh, no, the supporters. I, 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 I wasn't the top. I wasn't the top. I wasn't the top. 
look, 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 because like, yeah, there may be a um, film like a black woman that would have sent me during that time, mm-hmm. but they may not be the person that I would want to be with, mm-hmm. or I'm not a sexually attracted to, because there will be a black woman out there like, oh, you ain't try every black woman. So but she made all qualifications. One second. From OG, OG, I swear to God. OG, OG God. Fresh say loyalty OG. does not have a color. Well, I hit her real quick. I, I, I swear to God. Loyalty does not have a color. That black woman that would accept me in my lowest wasn't a, a black woman at that point that I felt would be attractive to me. Mm-hmm. Feel me? I like the baddies. Yeah. Right? right. Yeah. I, I, I like, nigga, you like baddies? I do. Well, do you like baddies? I know. So, so at my lowest point, I was not acceptable to the baddies, bro. Period. Exactly. But the baddies of the white girls were still like, nigga, <laughs> shit, I'll take that one. I'll bring you in. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? So let's be honest, right? A beggar can't be choosy. Mm-hmm. That's where I was when I chose the person I chose that happened to be white. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the fact I chose her because she was white. So that's kind of what our distinct is, is that. I didn't choose her because she was white. I chose her because she was a person that was a caliber, that and person so, I wanted to fuck you, with. Exactly you had, who I was up or at down. that point in my time, in my life. Right. And she was a person I was like, all right, you match me, let's do it. That's period. Yeah. I feel that. So you at, this point, you gotta match my at this point, you got to match my fly. At this point. And benefits. You got to match my fly. So if it was a black woman out there that would have took you while you was down at your lowest points. Man, listen, oh, man. We already we got there. We fucking out. 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 We fucking and that's why I'm And so I can't right. vibrate the same way with other races that I do with black women. It's not like I don't like other races. I haven't dated other I races. Them. Ooh, watch the I enjoy them. They're I'm fun. To, it's just I'm about to body something this about one. this. Watch this. A black woman. Come on, I'll finish. I just haven't I just haven't had the experience where I was able to have somebody who wasn't black. And I went to Northmont, so it like and I went to Northmont, I went to college. Shots out Northmont, Northmont Thunderbolt. So I had a dated so I had a variety. I did a variety of races. Right. It's just that like I always I get frustrated too. Everybody get frustrated. But I always end up coming back mm-hmm. to black women. And I always be wanting to make it work with black women because I feel yeah. like for me for me personally, it has the highest ceiling. As far as how I can be understand, understood mm-hmm. and the type of energy that I want to exchange with my partner. Watch this. Right. You right. I'm going to last. I'm going to last. I'm going to last. Go ahead. Go ahead. Around the room. Around the room. All right. Well, I got to agree. Okay. By the mind. I ain't going to. I got to agree on that. Yeah. I mean, I could. I don't feel comfortable to date outside of my race. That's the facts. The fact is, I had opportunities to date outside my race. I went on dates with a white guy before, but kissing him was weird to me. Wanting to, uh, you know, is he going to understand when the wig come out? (laughs) Can he be friends with me on Facebook? Can he be my real friend? Can he know how I talk? Sometimes I just talk shit on Facebook. You know, because I'm funny like that, but it's black humor for the most part. Like, is he, can I be my real self with him? So I found myself blocking him on social media and, stuff, and I knew that I could not have a real genuine relationship. White guys are overprotective. Because I couldn't be my full what? African American self. Like I my black like, queen no. is like, where? Yeah. At what pole? Watch this. He's coming. I'm just saying, white so I haven't. White, I can't my white relate boys. to nothing but the black man. The black man is the only thing I can relate to. Get home right now. Um. <laughs> He ain't having that. I, I, I mean, I don't I like white men like that. I can look at them. I can look at all kinds of different men. <laughs> but when it comes down, sex is a big part of a relationship to me, too. I agree. So, Dating, so with sex, that being said, and and when it comes sexually, and I know that's something that I want, then, yeah, I'm not going to get there physically with no man outside of the black so I'm physically man. attracted to black men. I don't give a fuck. So, I want to add to this, right? So we talked about the white and black dynamic, right? When it comes to people that you trust, right? right? Black men to right. white woman. Right. Not black men to white trust. woman. Black men to white you, woman. You just we re- talked you about. Just I want you to talk about like this. You like you just black like woman to white woman. One mic, one mic, one mic. Let me clarify. Well, just like you being a black male and me being a black male, we have a certain understanding that goes without even having a certain black male to white woman. All right. 
Like we have a certain understanding, just us being black males, Factual. that if I see a white boy walking past versus me seeing you walk past, I might be like, hey, what's up, bro? For sure. Just because I have a certain understanding and a certain knowledge of what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. For sure. You know I'm I'm so, so wait, 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 wait. So, so wait, wait, because I, like, I want to staple that because this is the part I want to make, right? Because the whole thing I like, everybody going around is saying black on black is, is lit, right? What about a black cop? Them niggas look at you objectively as fuck, bro. So when you have a black woman watching over you, she gonna look at all the things that you already are doing in totality of who you are. Uh, like a white person don't know what the fuck you go through, so they kind of give you a little more leeway. Look, I don't understand why you're doing this, but it must make sense to your me. culture, right? Teach me. So wait, wait, wait. Come on. Nah, Bla stereotype. Black cop. Nigga, you tell me you never run across no black cop that look at you like the same, like, like uh, who is this nigga here on this hat? For sure. Oh, Django ass. All the time. No, I'm sorry. I'm free. So, I don't want to talk about cops. So my point, <laughs> so my point when it comes to that is more or less like the fact of this. Like, I'm not saying like, like white women are, are queens and they are nah. like, I'm not going that far, but I'm telling you this. Black women will look at you more objectively than a white woman would because they don't know your fucking full struggle. They have no idea what the fuck you've been through to be black. A black woman gonna say, oh, nigga, I, nigga, I'm raising a black son. I don't fuck you gotta go through, nigga. I know what fuck you going through, nigga. Like, right? You gonna like, no, not I'm gonna say, no, I'm gonna be more than what y'all want. Yeah, we're just well, not well, we know. Well, I feel well, like well, I'm well, not well, going well, now well, with y'all and say no again. Yeah. What I do? What I do? What I do? There's one point. We mom y'all because we love y'all and because we have to. Y'all call it nagging, but the black woman mothers the black man continuously after he leave his parents' house because we fucking have to. Babe, I don't think that's a good idea. Right. Well, however we deliver right. it, we're mothering y'all. Right. And that's why y'all feel so comfortable with these white women. They let y'all do the fuck y'all want to do. Objection. Because, hold on, I'm talking. They let y'all do the fuck y'all want to do because they don't realize or they don't give a fuck and they don't have nothing to lose if they let y'all go the wrong fucking way. They are gonna drop your mm -hmm. ass the fuck out. Oh, 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 Love you, bro. Like, Listen. bro, you a fucking Listen. whoever holds the mic talk. Exactly. Shaq. That oh. white woman can Thank drop you, you the fuck you, off you, and move you, on, yeah. or she can bail you the fuck out and believe in you. Black woman do that. Just as the same. Black woman goes with her last though. At, just as the same, a black with woman her last, will like, give you her, her last. last but if you fuck ass. that up, you don't got the mic. But if you fuck that up. Black woman ain't going no more. What? You got one chance. Right. This is our income tax, nigga. nigga My kids deal. gotta eat up. Nigga, all day. One after that, deal. they're not fucking with you no more. White yeah, women over like, oh, you know what? Nah, they I'll ask they my don't respect you though. They gonna keep fucking. Definitely, with you. definitely shitting on you. Let me do it. <laughs> Nigga, a black woman gonna pull up down that motherfucker with one eyelash on. You talking about she lashing out. She gonna pull up with one lash on to pick your ass up out the motherfucking county after you just wild out of her at the fucking Chris. We act like black women ain't the fucking ghost. Like, for real, for real. Like, for real, for real. And I only say this because the third topic is where I wanna go. Because, like I said, I gave a lot of light to the reasons why I chose. Um, a white woman during that time. Like, I'm a person who've always been in long-term relationships, so it's not like I just chose a white woman to be in a long-term like, relationship. I've been in a long-term relationship with everybody I chose. Black, white, Chinese, everything. Like, So, the third part is where we get a chance to differ because I, I agree with you. I agree with you on a lot of your points. But at the end of the day, it's like, we everybody has their faults, bro. Like, Ain't you nobody go, perfect. Think of people you like... <laughs> 
Think of people like vehicles, right? You're going to get your Ford, and the Ford going to have their issues. It may be at 100,000 miles to the oil pump go out or some wild shit, right? You will have another vehicle that's made, you know, a European vehicle where it's gonna be issues that go on, like go wrong with that car, right? Mm-hmm. You just gotta chill, like you gotta choose a thing that you can deal with. Right. Right? Right. All right, podcast over. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I don't have no problem with interracial relationships. Spread the motherfucking melanin. It's the only way we gonna spread it, baby. Spread the motherfucking melanin. That's I am hard. all for it. What okay. Every black man should have one white baby. Yes. Just yes. as much. What? Yes. Yes. So that go put a black baby in a Karen. There we go. But what I'm saying is, is that a lot of times y'all choose women, regardless of what the race is, at a certain time in your life, who are going to enable you more than they are going to hold you accountable. Agreed. Some people are not at the space in their life where they care to be held accountable. Mm. They just living their best life. They doing whatever. They running the streets. They whatever they doing. And at that point in your life, it may be more. But. <laughs> When you get on, you're not supposed to leave for the white girl. You're not supposed to do the Kanye West when you get on, because look what that man going through. You see what Kim did. But that woman do not relate to him. Okay? They have differences with their parents in. And we about to get to our third topic before the before the end of this. But for sure. They have they have parenting issues, differences on how they want to raise their babies. Okay? And Kim has no idea what Kanye grew up like wow. in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Child. So it's just it's, so y'all don't think about the long game. Y'all think about that moment. In this moment, this is what's working for me. Y'all don't think about the long game. What's best for your babies? Who gonna help put that word in your babies on how they post to maneuver out here in these streets? If something, for God forbid, happens to you. Yeah. Is that woman capable of protecting and educating your black children? I'm not mm. saying that she's not, mm. but make sure that she's mm. fucking qualified. Mm. Just because you represent the black race. She's not. <laughs> she not. Yes, she is. So I would like to take this time to say shout out to the Legend View Podcast. Go over to my YouTube channel to subscribe to that. And then go to my Dash Resource LLC page where you guys can learn about Blue how to get business credits. I also got um, uh, unsecured loans up to $400,000. So let's move over to where we're about to move into co you you got so let's talk about co-parenting. You know, doing biracial co-parenting. Yes, so, Bi- biracial, biracial, biracial co-parenting. Yeah, I don't. Have let's that. talk about that. So, um, I will start with my story, which is got like I I hope we got tissue in here, right? Yeah, tissue. You better cry. Mm-hmm. Hold on, bro. Mm-hmm. If you cry, I'ma cry. Just like if you throw up, I'ma throw up. <laughs> if, you know, like, if you yawn, I'ma yawn. If you yawn, I'ma yawn. So, to put things into a proper perspective, man, like, um, I got three kids, right? I got an 18-year-old, which shows my true age, right? I've been a father before I was an adult, right? Right. right. I take care of him, and he's gone through college, well, high school. He's now in college. He has a job. He has a car. I bought him a car. He, he, he literally lives with me. He's doing great in life, bro. You me? Son. I had so kids 10 years later, right? So my first child was from another black female, right? Which, you feel me? My son's doing great. No problem with the mom. Literally, we space time out. There's no problem with the kid being dropped off. We have a great time. We have a great <laughs> flourishing relationship. Smooth operator. This is all that's happening during the time I'm in a full relationship with a white woman, <laughs> right? 
During this time, I'm with this white woman. We're together till my daughter is seven years old. This is the first time I ever said this in a podcast ram. So, man, this is gonna be crazy. Uh, 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 for seven years? Yes. The white girl for seven years? Yes. Okay. I'm only in long-term relationships. I've never been that person that's fly by that's I'm all, I've only been long-term relationships. Okay. So, my birthday is coming up. My birthday is July 24th. So, we've already passed that point. So, let's talk about last year. Last year, um, I went through a point where I'm literally sitting there going back and forth with her about I'm going to Atlanta. Everything is kind of cool, but she kind of not cool with it. But we had our troubles leading up to this point. On now, on you feel me? I come back. You feel me? A great time is happening. When I'm there, I come back. And it's all this static going on. So it comes to the point where, for me, I got like literally a corner like this set up at like my apartment at this time. Now, mind you, I got a crib now, everything good. I promise you, today is one of the most greatest days of my life. That's why I don't have no problem sharing this moment with so, all of y'all. Right. 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 Like, I swear, I've never said it before, nowhere. So, so during this time that I'm talking to her about this, you know, I had a great time to the third. She get mad at me. She throw coffee on me. Now, mind you, nigga, it's like 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Who the fuck drink coffee that time? Right? The coffee D cold. Decaf. Decaf. Right. That's all I want to know, my nigga. Right. Decaf right. or ejaculated. Right. Coffee cold. Right, right. So, so, mind you, right? One thing about being a black man dating a white woman is you have to be cognizant of you, nigga, you still black no matter what. Yep. Right? The anger. Now, I am a person who have never had a DV charge. I've never aggressively went towards a woman. Right. I'm not a person that feels like I can beat your ass to prove a point. We ain't got to. Not at all. I just be fly as fuck, go to the next level. I promise. I'm the one that got away from every relationship I've ever been in. Ha -ha. And, and, including this one. Right? And go this one. So, I call the police, right? Now, mind you, <laughs> feel me? I'm Don't laugh. <laughs> No, no, man, black no, need to call no, the police. no, because I want y'all to learn. Like I want y'all to learn from this. I probably I'm call the police. I'm I'm I've never told him to agree because he's dealing with a white woman in the situation. I call the police too. I've <laughs> never That's told him to agree before. I got the mic. Wait, 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 my charges from back in the day. We ain't, we ain't doing that, right? So I threw my guns in the toilet. Please pop, police quit listening, right? I, I threw my gun in the toilet. We clean right? down. The police pull up, they ask me 101 questions. I tell them, I don't want to press no charges. I just want to be gone for the night, right? Right. So they tell me, okay, have you been drinking? And obviously I have, right? So they tell me, I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. I say, I want to go to the hotel right down the street. I promise you, you can throw a football from my last apartment to where I'm going. I'm going. Yeah. So to the, to the till. Yeah. So when they say, go, go ahead and pack your stuff up, they stay by the door. I go in there, I get my gun out the toilet, I put it, cause, I mean, I... I ain't I, leaving it. Yeah, I ain't leaving my gun here, bro. So, the police transported my gun to do drop me out. The <laughs> real nigga, so, salute to them. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all the real niggas. Protect the serve. Right? Y'all protect the serve a real nigga, right? So, the next day I wake up, and I'm sitting there in a whirlwind of, like, damn, like, um, like, do I go back? Like, um, do I go deal with these girls who've been at me? Like, cause niggas know, like, you had them chicks that been like tugging at you, mm. and you be like, nah, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm good at the crib. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I'm thinking like, damn, I should do that. But in my head, I'm like, damn, maybe I should just go get my shit all the way straight to the point where I gotta deal with this person. So in my head, I'm doing that. So I'm so during the time I'm processing this shit, I, I'm contacting her. I'm still in love, bro. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of people fucking forget, like, that, like, mm -hmm. women and men love inversely. Different, too. So as this, right? Like, a woman, when a woman first meets you, she love you, like, from there, like, oh my God, you're the greatest man I don't care who you are, right, like you for right, you. Right, right, right. But a man love different. Like a man will literally be like, the more that me and you been through, the more I love you. It's a gradual thing. Like we don't just be like from the door. So at that point where you break up with some motherfucking body, right? That nigga <laughs> love you more than he ever did. Because it, he ever he did, he bro. Real passionate. You break up. Am I lying to anybody <laughs> back there? He better be real passionate. Say it again. Say it all the time. By the time a woman break up Put with the you. Mic up. <laughs> <laughs> By the time that you break up with a female, right, you are literally at the height of your relationship. Like, 
like the more you been through with a female, like if you meet a girl today, like you met her at the crib, I mean, I mean at the club, like it's cool, like you gonna do your little numbers and whatever there, but nigga, she look at you like you remind me of my cousin and blah 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 or whatever. That kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. You remind me of like somebody that you feel me, I really wanna be with type shit. So she gonna like start off loving you. And then the more you put her through, the less she gonna love you. This is facts or not. Right, right. Facts, yeah. But a man, the more that we go through, the more I'm gonna I love, love you. you. I love you. Right. Is there, right. Is there, right. 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 We do, y'all. Once we hate so, y'all, y'all love us. Y'all love so, us. Yeah. so at the point that I called the police on her, I was literally at the height of my love for her, bro. Like literally, like, like I literally was to the point where like I did not want to go to jail. Fuck There's nothing in this world I right. wouldn't do for you. You baby. ain't got the goddamn it, Mike. So, <laughs> so at the point that I did that, I was at the height of my love. I'm sitting there, I'm like, bam, what the fuck I'm gonna do? Like, I'm like, all right, bam, I'll have to reshuffle. I got red enough to go get me in my own little spot. But in my head, I'm like, nigga, you really wanna go back home? <laughs> Honestly, you feel me? So I'm kind of gauging the fucking shit, but she more or less still mad that I called the police, which I understand females, because I understand like, nigga, you call the police. Nigga, Bitch, you crazy. Right. <coughs> right, because you just watch crazy. like, my, I, like I'm a nigga who do not tolerate if a no- nigga call the police, he got the reason to call the police. Facts. I'm black and she white and I'm in a white neighborhood and bitch, stop screaming outside. I ain't do nothing to you. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So, oh, yeah, so, 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 you feel me? Like, you feel me? I shuffle, right? So, I, nigga, I literally shuffle. Like, nigga, I'm just going to wait it out so we can talk about it. You feel me? This is where things are different when it comes to black women and white women. Right? When it comes to black women, I can have a fucking conversation with you. Like, I can literally can talk to you about you, yeah. all the fucking things that is fucked up between me and you, and we gonna come to a compromise. But the white woman ain't no fucking compromise. She do not understand you to even start with. <laughs> is it his shit out? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Huh. No. She gonna play it way different than a black woman will. Shout out to uh, but A black woman might stab the tires out, burn some of your clothes. Damn, I ain't gonna do nothing. A white woman will snitch on you? A white Boy, woman will get you indicted. A white woman will get you indicted. A white woman will get you indicted. A white woman will get you She gonna like, no, I so, told him not to do it. You a fella, you ain't supposed to be real no good. She gonna take a picture of you. Yeah. in the past, right? So right now, you feel me? Like, honestly, bro, like, um, I just had a court case um, just a couple weeks ago, um, a week ago, honestly. And at that point in time, I ain't seen my daughter 110 days, bro. And that's some shit, like, that a lot of people do not think about when it comes to raising your kids. It's like, we ain't going. We ain't going. I already done put the fucking, paper, the fucking paperwork in motion so I can do this. So, so at the end of the day, it's like, for me, I go back to court on the twenty third to get my visitation because a lot of people don't think about that type of shit. So, so when it comes to that part of it, yes, the fun having sex without no fucking stipulations, yeah, have a fucking ball. When it comes to having kids, I'm not saying my life is a catalyst for everybody else, but I'm telling you, bro, a black woman's gonna fucking hold you down through those fucking tough times, bro. I promise you, I got two black baby mamas who, and I don't wanna call them baby mamas, like, we co-parent, bro. Like, we, we co-parent. We work together. The other half of my parenting. Ain't no my fucking parent, issue. Child of my baby but there's one the motherfucker that really got parenting. an issue when it comes to that, and, and I like to pass the mic after that. Cause I'm about to say yeah, something after yeah. y'all. No, hell to the night. Come on, I got something to say. Nah, you can tell. Absolutely, y'all, man. Did. Thank y'all for Look, sharing that. Yeah, no, for yeah. real. I'm so I glad that you women. shared that because we needed a different perspective. It wasn't that we were like saying that his perspective was wrong, but we just know that I'm it can go both ways. The response too. It can go both ways. Like it can be like they can be everything you want them to be and be like these yes men and enablers is what I hear. You know what I'm saying? Like hold me down. I don't know what that means. But when you start like, making, I want to raise you up. I don't want to hold 
you down. I want to raise you up. So if you're going, if you're doing bullshit in your life and you're fucking around, you chilling at the house all day, like you were saying, all that shit. I want to raise you up from that. I'm not going to tolerate that. And that's because I love you. If I yeah. didn't love you, then I'll let you do whatever oh, no. the fuck white you want to do. definitely complacent. A white woman is definitely doing that's what you But that don't mean yeah. they don't love you. I don't mean they don't love you, but that's how they learn. That's Show how they know to you love. Be you. You don't want to be a bum? But you that's be how bum. they are taught to love. Show let you bring be a no, bum. No, but it's it the ain't. truth. No. It's why the don't truth. you want because a woman I that empowers you? Why don't you want I'm not saying it's good, but at the time, we don't know what people go through. So if you're going through a depressed moment in your life where you don't, it's a lot of noise coming, you just want to hear silence, and they provide that, that's what I'm saying. No, I understand. I'm she not doing Everybody silence. do it for their own reason. Well, it seems like most temporary. black men do it, it when it, they down and It out. was temporary, but I, woman. at the time, they don't. They, 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 they can't deal with the challenge in them. He said the same thing. Be handy, y'all huh? keep telling us that when you down and out, and you know a black woman ain't gonna deal with your bullshit, that y'all go to a white woman that's gonna pacify you. You wanna pacify her? Y'all wanna pacify her? Really when y'all wanna, y'all wanna sit in y'all shit, and we don't wanna let y'all. We wanna no. clean it okay, the fuck yeah, up. Okay. They said, let's let speak. That's we it's wanna, it's we it's wanna motherfucking clean up. Man, move the fuck on. It's not really bullshit. It's I just I need you time. To regroup, you wanna okay? Sit in your real, shit. real shit. You wanna sit in your shit. Real shit. Real shit. I just got home. You wanna sit in your shit. To anybody that really know me, I, I got just got some home. Wipes. I got home. I just got home. I'm Let not even three months. I'm not even three wipes. months clear, Let me okay? Clean. Come and on. right now, before I left, I had my own barber shop, my own tattoo shop, uh, my own studio, uh, and some, some other things. Anyway, I was doing way more than what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. So when I get home, it's not. I'm doing. I'm talking about now. Then with the white woman, it was totally different. Now it's still the comfort level for a man. When I'm in a certain mode, I might be in a, a grind mode. I might be in a hibernate mode. I might be in a you got me fucked up. Anybody can get it mode. I might be in a take me. I'm about to rob this mode. The mode that I was in then was sad and depressed. Mm -hmm. I was done with black women. Mm -hmm. So. I was like, let me see what they're about because I've never been there because I'm still right on, brother. Power to the people. I was then, so I've never been with one. So when I seen it, I'm like, you know what? This it's different. a lot of noise over there. So oh, I'm going to come over here where it's quiet. Don't no white person know me. I ain't catering. Niggas ain't coming out. Hold on, but let's so, say how did now, that turn out for you? It was, how did it turn out for you? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now that I'm home, it's like, hey. I know where the noise is. Back to black. I know where my people is. Mm -mm. I know where the white girls. I know where the. So now, when I have my peace, it's because I want to. Because I need to regroup. And the things that I need to regroup is maybe silence. It's maybe not nagging. It's maybe no, but I want to be, be honest. It's, it's maybe I want to be spoiled. Okay. I want to be That's nervous. cool. I want to be catered mic. to. Have Give you heard? Have you mic. heard? Catered to. Give me the goddamn mic. Sometimes a man wants to be catered uh, to. I know so how to cater he can to feel head. like, you know what? Three, I'm ready to two, get back two, out there in the world. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen. You can cater to someone. Sometimes it's good to be lonely. How you said that you went to Kettering mm -hmm. to find peace mm -hmm. and quiet. Quiet. Nobody. Is that what you found? Be <laughs> honest. Be honest, my nigga, because you, 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 you was quiet. on the newspaper. <laughs> you was on the front page <laughs> of the newspaper. He ain't want peace and quiet. No, I just, I just, we got to keep it real here because that nigga didn't go out to Kettering and find no fucking peace. I didn't get it. That I nigga went out to I didn't get Bruh, it. <laughs> that nigga didn't go to Kettering and can't find no peace. I didn't get that shit. nigga went to Kettering and ended up and on the front the page of the Day, day and Daily fucking newspaper because somebody was enabling him to do whatever the fuck he wanted to do and that was not what was good for him. And right. one know what black Let's woman be clear. One know black woman so just because, just because you think you found some silence, you found silence when you needed fucking noise. Mm. Y'all want to tell the story? I don't want to tell the story. 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 I don't want to tell the story
sometimes I know. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes the noise can drown uh-huh. out what is real. So she's saying I needed noise. I needed people to be in my ear and say, hey, that's the wrong thing you to do. You needed your people around you that my, loved my you, people, that understood you. My people. But again, the noise that I was getting, I never said it was silence on that end. It was just silence from the people that I didn't want to deal with. Back then, it was like, bro, I heard what happened. I'm sorry what happened. You back? Whose gun was it that got you locked up? I'm a felon. Everybody know that. I, me too. I, I got I got a number. You feel me? I'm clean now. No papers no more. But back then, I was still on papers. She was CC Dub. Me, as young, inexperienced, I didn't know that if I'm on papers and my mate has a CC Dub, I can't be around nobody with either license. Anyway, long story short, they were looking for the wrong person. My name was not on that warrant list. But yes, the police showed up. A gun. A felon. Weapons under disability. Regular. Easy. Regular. Regular. So, regular. the regular shit. Nothing regular. extra. So, nothing. you was at the wrong place at the wrong motherfucking time. With the wrong person. Right. I'm but just saying. How many do it take for a motherfucker to realize, like, damn, like, all right, well, this ain't. At the time, y'all, I was like so depressed, so sad. If it came, I'm like, who is that? That ain't me. I, they said, Sonny. I'm like, are you asking for Sonny to like? <laughs> Anyway, mm-hmm. long story short, yes, the wrong person. She did not encourage me to the point where I needed to be. But again, y'all know me. She didn't know me. That's what they don't know unless you tell them. They don't know nothing other than you're a beautiful specimen. Mm-hmm. Black y'all, man. y'all know me. Mm-hmm. So, no, of course, it. the black woman be like, hey, nigga, you destined for greatness. The white woman be like, really? just stay in my house and just be here when I get home. I can do that. The shit that I needed to do, the noise that she's talking about, I wasn't trying to face at the time. So she's right, but at a certain point. Co-parenting was the subject real quick, bro. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying. So how she is She said it? something about a gun. And how I was, was like, co-parenting with your, with your, with your white baby mama? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. For how old are y'all kids? I'm not on child support. <laughs> <laughs> For none of my Black women? No, no, no. no. You well, miss one motherfucking baby nigga. Nigga. I'm going to be at that. Before we close out today, y'all, I, I really feel like that's the same with a black woman. My, oh, my kids, I, agree. I have, look, I have two baby fathers, oh. right? Don't interrupt her. I have two, oh. right? And my, <laughs> my first baby dad was active with his kids in any way that he could be. I and I, and I dealt, and I dealt with that, and they both black men. And I dealt with dealt with with it with financial and just being around emotionally and physically so but they was there and I had never at no point thought that I was gonna put them on child support you chose the right man they, you chose the right active. black man they're no. active with my kids no I'm thinking just uh-huh. like that white woman if, if you active with my kid I don't have to do that that's what you just said yeah. I'm an active I man. got three other so kids before been, I say she something. knew I was active I got Can three other kids before, before we well, close one mic, one mic. Let's let's just say something real quick. Listen, child support should only be used when necessary. <laughs> He's a deadbeat. Hold on, fuck a deadbeat. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how many times you come bounce your kid on your motherfucking knee, or how many times you go outside and throw the motherfucking football. I can't pick Kids my can't child. eat off that. Kids cannot eat off I'll that. Pick my so up. period. Some of us can't settle for you just being around emotionally and physically. Some of some financial support so we're not gonna shun that because at the end of the day kids want something every time i go to the store right kid yeah, wants something kid need yeah. gas they got they got football practice they got doctor's appointments my son wants some motherfucking braces they got all this shit oh, oh my football i want some new cleats you know 200 dollars cleats spell like, it spell it i don't give a fuck spell what and we yeah, you and it. as moms we come through regardless yeah. so half the time that little child supports don't, don't take care of nothing. shit. It don't cover a bill. It don't bitch. take care of shit. Fact. So if you put me on child support and I spend way more no. money. If you being put on child support, it's nigga, because you ain't doing it's no because part. I'm not saying I can't they speak they for your baby mama. To be fair, that's not the only thing. Children. 
luxury. No. Let me ask you. You a lie. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So let me tell you guys how the and fuck no. you. No, no, no. I need complete silence. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Let me tell you little niggas how the fuck you get off child support. <laughs> I got three children on child support. And we got 60 though. seconds, so we'll see y'all later and we're gonna continue with this. You don't close I got up. three I children. I have three ch- figure, figure, I got three children by multiple races of women and I do not pay child support. You know how the fuck you do that? Yeah. Being consistent. Bank Thank rupsy. you. Bankruptcy. <laughs> Consistency. Mm-hmm. You can't do it when you feel like it. I'm it on a regular. I'm very rough. Uh, 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 I, I take my kids to school when I pick them up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm there when school time happens and they, they go get the little fucking outfits, the little fucking red shirt with the fucking <laughs> yeah. dumbass fucking <laughs> pants to go with it. I'm there when it ain't birthday and I'm sitting there turning up. I'm the one when she said, I gotta work this Saturday and I need you. Can you watch them? Yeah. But you use that as leverage. You do that while you're still paying child support. And I'm telling you, they're probably gonna piss you off. Do that while you're still paying child support. And you tell her, man, listen, this shit is stressing me out because of the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm already paying this and I'm also doing and this. And doing that. I got child support twice. They ain't got my name down there at all. Okay? Even person I'm fighting for right now for visitation, I'm not on child support for a kid. I'm fighting for visitation, my nigga. And you still fighting. Good one, ladies. His name. Yeah, we're gonna end on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of your kids, nigga. You hey, gotta worry about child support. Take care of your kids, and you gotta worry about up. child support. If that nigga don't take care of his kids, then you go get you some child support if that's what the fuck you need to do. Is just uh-huh. understand, though, that it ain't shit. It's kibbles and bits, baby. So and whatever. If they white, it, it, it's kibbles and bits. You can try them out. <laughs> but just be cautious. Yes. People should have, like, hey, I don't like working. I don't clean up. I got a job sometimes. They should yeah, have like more yeah, warning signs. Warning labels on oh, the head. Oh, damn, you the perfect person. We're coming in the future. Yeah. Like, coming in the no, future. No, because then we'd all be lonely because there's something wrong with all of us. Yeah. Uh, Real talk. I mean, I mean, we all be lonely. Don't act like I'm fucked up. You I'll fucked up judging. too. You fucked up too now. I'll be judging, we but listen. We just to make the best thing out of a bad thing. Listen, so today on this podcast, <laughs> We talked about a lot, but we talked about sex outside your race, specifically with white women versus black women. We couldn't really speak on the men portion of it because neither of us have dated outside or had whites. sex outside of our race, me or Sunny. So we Johnny, Ray oh, Ray, you, Billy, you, you, Joy. We got one more conclusion. So you dated a white man before? Oh, yeah. Time. Her baby daddy white. Oh. To be continued. Yeah. To be continued. Black women. Black women. We coming. Dun, dun, dun. You next. We gotta do a part two. I know so y'all look, like that little shit. We, we talked about sex bitch. outside of your race. <laughs> we talked about dating outside of your race. And Dana we talked Dana. about co-parenting outside of your race. Basically with white women versus with black women. And we had two different perspectives, which I think is always healthy yeah, because good. it's two and three and four fast sides to every story. Oh. And we are not bashing interracial relationships. I say oh. spread the motherfucking melanin. Oh. Oh. Whoever so makes you period. happy. Every black man you have is have one Whoever one makes you happy. You have one white happy. baby. You gotta go have one white baby. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm watching the magic. So, no, show. listen. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm watching the magic. No, really? listen. Okay. So, listen. Really, like, it's really a serious thing. We need to stop being so prejudiced and so racist because everybody is energy on the inside, right? That's all and right. we are all raised differently, so we're all going to conduct ourselves differently, and we've all experienced different things in life, so we're all going to come from a different perspective. But at the end of the day, we can always get together and get at this table and have a constructive conversation. I felt like everybody was heard, even though it got a little loud sometimes. Yeah. I, shout out to you, Dash Resources, Bob. Buy us uh, stocks, not drugs. Sell stocks, not drugs. Sell, Boy, Sell hey. stocks, not drugs. Sell socks not dope every Sunday at 8 o'clock p.m. I'm also doing grant uh, opportunities for small businesses. I also now I can literally do unsecured loans up to 400000 man. Fuck with a real nigga, man. It's lit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you man. heard the man. And then we got best friend who got oh, a new and video. Oh, and new and video show. coming out. Tell them about your new video man, coming out real I'm quick, real quick. I'm about to send a link to everyone that came in. Stay tuned. Y'all see no, what I'm talking about. Oh, damn. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so tap, tap in. I'm 
I'm gonna send y'all a link. It's Jay gonna be bro. It won't go there. Subscribe below. Subscribe below. Oh. We're gonna the put the link in the below. description. But you listen. Sunny. Oh my God! What do y'all? We didn't get very many words in on this pod today, but it's all good because we love having guests and we love to hear y'all perspective on stuff, right? All right. Until next time, unicorns. Always wash your coochie and count your money twice. Thanks. Until next time. You heard me, gang gang. <laughs> Walking like who that? They like where she bad. Like it, but she bad.